Hi, my name is Vebhav from the Visa Developer team. In this tutorial, we'll be guiding you through the process of creating a certificate signing request or CSR file using OpenSSL. To successfully connect with MutualSSL, you need to create a CSR file. Two ways we can do this, by using OpenSSL or Java Key Tool. This tutorial covers OpenSSL, but we also cover Java Key Tool in a separate video. Why create a CSR file? It is required to obtain a certificate if you're using an API that uses two-way mutual SSL authentication. Note that a separate CSR file is required for the certification and production environments. If an API requires certification prior to going live in the production environment, you will be following this process twice. First, to obtain credentials for certification, and again, for production. Credentials for production will be provided once a signed relevant contract is in place between you and Visa. So let's start. First, you'll need to install OpenSSL on your computer if it isn't already installed. On Macs and Linux, OpenSSL is pre-installed. In this demo, we will use Windows and I have installed OpenSSL on my machine. To do that, go to search on your Windows computer, then search CMD. Once the app loads and it's up and ready, we'll open the location where we're going to store all of our project and CSR files. Now, to stay as organized as possible with our project, I've created a folder here. As you can see, I have a separate folder for sandbox, certification, and production the three environments for the projects. Now, since this CSR file is for production, I'll go ahead and open that folder. This is where I'll store my CSR file and key store file. Next, I click on the location and copy it. Right click and select copy. Then I go back to command prompt and type in CD, the command we use to change to that directory. Then we start the rest of the command with a quotation mark right-click, then paste the location, and close the command with a quotation mark. Press Enter to go to the location where the CSR file will be stored. OK, the next thing we're going to do is create our CSR file. We have this command in the Going Live guide on Visa Developer. So you can always refer to that to get to it. Now I go to the next line, right-click, and paste this command then hit enter. What this does is generate a private key that you store for yourself at the bottom here. This is your production private key. Therefore, it is really important to save this. If you lose the private key for production environment, you will have to regenerate new CSR file for production environment. The next step is to create our CSR file. We have this command in the going live guide on Visa Developer so you can always refer to that to get to it. OK, so first, we paste this command. Now be sure to put quotations mark around the subject name if any of the values include spaces. Now, we need to go through each field on that command and fill in the right information. First is the domain name for the common name. This field must be a fully qualified domain name that belongs to your organization and which will be connecting to Visa. This is the format the domain name should follow. Format should be alias slash hostname.domainname.com. As an example, I'll use services.visa.com. Note that you should not use wildcard characters for the hostname, and also the hostname should not start with www. The next field we have is organizational unit name. This is the name of your division within your organization. An example would be debit card processing unit. Next is your organization name. I'll use Bank of USA. Then the locality name. This should be a valid city name such as San Francisco. Note, locality name should not be abbreviated. You should spell out the full locality name. Next, 
is the state name. That's the name of the state or province where the server is located. Be sure to spell out the name completely. Again, no abbreviations. So here we'll type California. For the country name, we use two letter ISO country code. Here we'll say US. This should be the CSR unique ID appended with dash cert or dash prod to indicate the environment. To get the CSR unique ID, go to going live, scroll down to certification signing request, click on start CSR visit and click copy. Now make sure you close the command with a quotation mark. Once you have closed the command, hit enter. This will generate your CSR file. You can confirm that the file was created by going back to your project. And there it is. OK, so now we're going to upload the CSR file to your project. First, go back to your dashboard and click on Going Live. Scroll down to Production section and click on Start CSR Visit. Then click on the plus sign to add the file. Then go back to the folder with the CSR file and drag this file over to the dashboard. Once you see it, it uploaded, click Next, put in your phone number, then click Next again. Great, you're almost ready to submit your CSR file. But first, we strongly advise you to review all the information to make sure it's right. Once you submit the file, you can't revert. And Visa Developer will reject the file if there is an error. So be sure to go over the information one last time. If everything checks out, go ahead and click Submit. Once that is done, you will be redirected to the dashboard, where we can see that our file has been submitted successfully. Visa Developer will then review it and send you an email when all has been approved. And that's it. I hope this has been helpful. If you do want additional guidance, make sure to check out the community forums or contact us directly at developer at visa.com. Thanks for watching.